Taking a look, Daddy, uh, overnight line movers, as we see, look, it's like Christmas. You know, I always get a joy out of NFL mornings, 10, 11, 12 o'clock East Coast time, where it looks like a Christmas tree. That's going on right now. Make sure you check out SBRodds.com for all the latest line movements. Gonzaga, Teddy, getting a little bit of love. No people, fa- we're not scared of these high lines, Teddy. If there's money to be made, people are going to bet it. Gonzaga opens up at Pinnacle, minus 26 and a half, now sitting at 28 across the board. A lot of love for the Zags early, Teddy. Yeah, Zags coming off a loss. Uh, obviously in the West Coast Conference Tournament. They haven't played in a while, but certainly when it comes to the travel spots, here's a 16 seed, just played on Tuesday. Now they got to play on Thursday. It's a, certainly an issue with Fairleigh Dickinson. The market's reacting to that accordingly. And now we're looking at 28 instead of 26 and a half. If you'll bet it now, you better pray this game doesn't land on 27. You'll be ready to strangle somebody. We got movement in the NBA, Teddy. Nuggets side on the rise. Offshore book Chris opens up at minus five. When I'm taking a look right now, Teddy, eight and a half showing across the board here. Total of 230. So even that's on the rise. Money line split minus 370 plus 310. What gives here, Teddy? It's a big line moving on the side. Yeah, yeah. Two things going on here. One is that the Wizards played last night in Chicago. Brutal overtime game. Lost in OT. That was a crushing loss for Washington last night. So, Balls to the wall last night. Now it's the second of back-to-backs from a team that just, you know, I mean, they're still saying, oh, yeah, we can make the playoffs. Not that they were ever going to make the playoffs, but uh, you wonder if now that effort for the Wizards takes a notch or two down compared to where it was. They had been a lottery-bound team playing pretty hard, uh, even though they were, in theory, fighting for that last spot in the East. So you have the Wiz on the second of back-to-backs off the crushing overtime loss, and they're likely to be without a starter tonight. Trevor Ariza got hurt. Uh, last night, he's listed as questionable here. The markets don't think he's going to play. It's not like Ariza has been a difference maker for the Wizards, but they don't have a whole lot behind him at the wing. So even though he's not an impact player from a point spread perspective, the fact that Washington's wing depth is severely limited has definitely impacted this point spread.